Welcome to Scarlet. Scarlet, which stands for Scalable and Reconfigurable Electronics Platforms and Tools, is an EC-funded FP7 first call project coordinated by Thales Avionics. This presentation will provide you with a general overview of how remote actuation is achieved in a DME environment. Traditional federated aircraft architectures were comprised of independent systems, each with a dedicated computing resource connected directly to the system sensors and actuators. Because the number of federated systems on an aircraft have been exponentially increasing, it has become necessary to find a solution to minimize the amount of equipment housed in the electrical equipment bay. A DME architecture uses a common computing resource hosting multiple systems which are connected to sensors and actuators via a backbone network. Remote components are used to provide a sensor and actuator interface with a backbone network. A DME solution reduces the equipment housed in the electrical equipment bay and the backbone network reduces the amount of wiring needed in the aircraft. In more detail, the DME architecture will be comprised of multiple core computing modules CPMs, connected together through a backbone network. Each CPM may host a number of applications, which each form a part of a system. The CPMs are connected to remote I.O. via the backbone network and network switches. Typically, the backbone network will be based on ARIC 664 Part 7 standard. Multiple remote components which interface to the sensors and actuators are connected to the backbone network. The remote components are located in close proximity to the sensors and actuators. The remote components of a DME architecture may be placed into three categories remote power controller, remote electronic unit and remote data concentrator. The remote power controller is used to switch local electrical loads and provide advanced load protection. The remote data concentrator provides a hub for local I.O. collection, processing and interfacing to a backbone network. The remote electronics unit the Remote Electronics Unit provides a ruggedized computing resource that can host electronics to support a specific function and single ARIC 653 application. This presentation will focus on an element of the DME architecture which are used in conjunction with an REU to perform remote functions. A remote electronic unit, abbreviated to the term REU, may be used to provide control functionality in close proximity to a system's sensors and actuators, where network latencies prevent the control function from being located remotely in a core computing module. An example developed in Scarlet is an REU designed to host controlling software and dedicated hardware that provides both speed and position close loop control for an electric actuator. The next slides focus on REU development for electric actuation. This work has been performed within Scarlet. Normally, aircraft use hydraulic actuators, so why change? Unscheduled aircraft maintenance can be reduced by using electric actuation because the aircraft does not need to be moved to a hangar to perform maintenance. Hydraulics maintenance must be performed in a hangar to avoid oil spills on the runway. Turnaround time may be reduced. The requirement to wait for brakes to cool before takeoff may be reduced for electric brake actuators. There is a potential for aircraft weight saving. If all hydraulic actuation can be removed from the aircraft, the hydraulic supporting architecture can be removed, including pipes, reservoirs and pumps from the engines. 
there can be better utilization of the aircraft generating capacity because landing gear slats and flaps are used in different flight mode to existing major loads such as galleys and in-flight entertainment. Landing gear is one of a number of possible applications for electric actuation. Linear electric actuators may be used for extension and retraction. Rotary actuators may be used for nose wheel steering. As part of the Scarlet Time Critical Demonstrator, an electronic controller has been developed by GE Aviation Systems to support investigation of the real-time performance capability of DME architecture. This controller is embedded in an REU. This technology provides the initial building block of the electric actuator control function and creates the environment in which to integrate advanced motor control logic. This initial building block is integrated into an REU and connected via the backbone network with a core computing module. Fast control loop application software is implemented on the REU. This control loop provides speed control. The fast control function is implemented local to the actuator on the remote component to avoid network latency that would be introduced if this function were implemented on the core processing module. The slow loop control application is hosted on a core processing unit. The slow loop control provides position control. The resulting hardware components developed are shown from left to right are a core processing module, the basic REU modified to include the motor control board, the prototype motor control board developed by GE Aviation Systems, and the motor control test rig developed by Naturen Limited. The actuator is simulated by a test rig developed by Naturen Limited. The test rig is comprised of a motor and a gearbox assembly. The motor is loaded by an air spring assembly to simulate the load of flight control surfaces. The control loop feedback is provided by position transducers. The items highlighted in red on the DME architecture host the components of this system. The software architecture developed by Zezov University of Technology implements a fast and slow control loop which is distributed across the DME environment. The slow loop software is hosted remotely by the CPM. The system provides a dual control function utilizing two identical IEUs connecting to a single actuator. The software schema is implemented on a single core processing module and two IEUs provided by GE Aviation Systems. The AFDX switches have been developed in collaboration between TT Tech and GE Aviation Systems. Further experimental work. Experimental activity to produce an FPGA-based REU hardware solution has been performed in parallel with other REU development work. University of Nottingham are researching configurable REU motor drive technology which embeds low-level control functions onto an FPGA. The FPGA technology will provide higher integrity and predictability. The experimental configuration is shown in the picture of the laboratory setup. More detail of the FPGA control board is shown in the second picture. And the final picture shows the DC motor and motor load. This is the block diagram of the proposed FPGA-based architecture which includes fault diagnostic. The control algorithm 
takes into account a per unit model of the permanent magnet synchronous motor in order to be applicable for different power levels. Configurable motor drive technology. Thank you for listening. Special reference should be given to other Scarlet partners involved in the work presented. Please visit our website and should you have any further questions regarding this video presentation, please do not hesitate to contact any of the persons mentioned. Thank you for your attention.